Hello guys, I am Dharia and I have come up with the second part of computer memory. Yes, in this video, we will discuss the secondary memory. So, without wasting time, let us begin. Secondary memory Secondary memory is also known as external memory or auxiliary memory. It is non-volatile memory. The word non-volatile means that data is permanently stored on these memory devices. This means data once saved will not destroy when the power gets off. Secondary memory has a very high capacity. It is inexpensive as compared to primary memory. It is much slower than main memory or RAM. That is, data is accessed very slow as compared to primary memory. Some of the examples of secondary memories are hard disk, HDD, that means hard disk drive, CD, compact disk, DVD, digital versatile disk, or digital video disk, Blu-ray disk, floppy disk, pen drive, and memory card. Now the question may come to your mind that why to use secondary memory if it is accessed slower than primary memory. So the answer is that primary memory is volatile and expensive, whereas Secondary memory is non-volatile and inexpensive. Data such as songs, movies, programs, documents, pictures, etc. are required to be stored in the computer permanently. Secondary storage is the best option for this purpose. Now we come to the categories of secondary memory. There are three categories of secondary memory. The first is magnetic storage, then comes optical storage, and then is the solid state storage. So first, let us come to the magnetic storage. Magnetic storage uses magnetic fields to magnetize tiny individual sections of the disk. Here, Magnetized section means bit 1 and non-magnetized section means bit 0. Magnetized storage is cheaper media to store the data. Capacity of magnetic media is very high. Magnetic storage media is durable. This means that there are less chances of damage. The examples are magnetic tape. On the left you see is the magnetic tape drive which is used for inserting the magnetic tapes. Magnetic tape has been shown on the right side. Magnetic tapes are used for storing data. In year 2014, Sony and IBM had created a tape which could store approximately 180 TB of data. Tapes and tape drives are now obsolete because of other cheaper portable and durable medium. The second type of magnetic storage is floppy disks. Floppy disks are much of lesser size than other storage media. On the left side in this picture are floppy disk drives of different sizes and on the right side there are floppy disks. Floppy disks are also obsolete now. This is because the floppy disks were never the reliable media. They were prone to damage easily. Also the capacity of these floppy disks was very less. Three types of floppy disks were common in 1990s. The 8 inches floppy was having the capacity of 1 megabyte. The 5.25 inches of floppy was having capacity of 1.2 megabyte and the 3.5 inches of floppy was having the capacity of 1.44 megabytes 
and the third type of magnetic storage is hard disk hard disk is very high storage magnetic media being having high storage capacity and durability it has become an essential part of any computer or laptop hard disk is still used in computer or laptop because of its high capacity durability and cheaper price the hard disk may be of internal hard disk or external hard disk in this picture on the left side is the magnetic hard disk and on the right side is the external hard disk usually hard disk come with the capacity of 1 tb 2 tb or even more the next category of secondary storage is optical storage optical storage uses a laser to scan the surface of a spinning disk the spinning disk is made from metal and plastic the disk surface is divided into tracks having lands and pits land means flat whereas pit means hollow light will always reflect from the land whereas it will not reflect the pits when the light reflects then it represents binary 1 and when the light does not reflect it represents binary 0 hence the lands on the surface represent bit 1 whereas pits on the surface represent bit 0 optical storage is cheaper media as you all must be knowing the retail price of the cd or dvd in the market is approximately rupees 10 the capacity of optical storage media is less as compared to hard disk these are durable some examples are cd which is the short form of compact disc the capacity of cd is approximately 700 mb dvd or digital versatile disc or you can even say digital video disc is having the capacity of approximately 4 gb and approximately 8 gb with dual layer dual layer means that data may be stored on two layers of the dvd blu-ray disc blu-ray disc has the capacity of approximately 50 gb with dual layer as you can see in this picture the size of cd and dvd and blu-ray disc is same the last category of secondary storage is solid state storage solid state storage is also known as flash memory it is made up of silicon microchips the data on solid state storage is stored electrically in silicon chips which are known as cells solid state memory can be written to and over written just like ram but solid state storage is non volatile whereas ram is volatile ssd has no moving parts so it is portable and more durable as compared to hard disk it produces less heat as compared to traditional magnetic storage media solid state memory is faster than traditional hard disk drives some of the examples of solid state storage are memory card all of us i seen the tiny memory cards which are inserted into the cameras mobiles and etc the capacity of memory cards ranges from 1 gb to 1 tb the second solid state storage media is pen drive which is also called as flash drive the storage media is also very commonly used the capacity of flash drive ranges from 1 gb to 2 tb the third and the most important solid state drive commonly abbreviated as ssd solid state drives nowadays are replacing the traditional hard disk drives which were magnetic because the ssds do not have 
moving parts and the technology is different. So these have high speed. The capacity of SSD is 100 TB, which has been a world record according to Nimbus data. Though such a high capacity of SSD is available, but still, normally the SSD capacity available in commonly used laptops and computers is only 256 GB or 512 GB. This is because the cost of SSD is still high as compared to traditional hard disk. On the left side is the memory card and on the right side is solid state disk that is SSD and in between you can see the pen drive. Now let's summarize the primary and secondary memories. Here we will look at the memory hierarchy. As you can see the speed of magnetic tapes is the lowest and the speed of cache memory is highest. Cache memory and RAM comes under primary memory as we have discussed in the previous video. If you haven't watched my previous video on primary memory, do watch it by clicking on the i button. The memory is magnetic tape, optical disk, magnetic disk and SSD comes under secondary memory. The cost of primary memory increases from RAM to cache and the cost of secondary memory increases from magnetic tapes to optical disks to hard disk to solid state disk. Thank you guys for watching my video. Our next topic will be software and its styles. Do watch my previous video based on primary memory. If you liked my video, share my video, like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.